We're going to take a moment to show you how to add a user and their security to Orion. It's relatively simple. Once you're on the appraisal home page, go down to the last column, user maintenance, and you'll see security there with users, users list, roles, and change my password. To, let's, for example, let's add a user. So we'll click users, and you'll see an existing list of users of the system at this point. We're going to add someone, so we move all the way over to the right, click on the plus sign, and we're going to add Sam Jones as a user. So the user ID will be Sam, capital S A M. And now we continue. And we're going to put, build a profile for Sam. Again, first name Sam, last name Jones. Title, let's say he's the appraiser. You may want to use an office staff name or, in my case, a consultant. Office, what kind of office is this out of? This is also out of the appraiser's office. This is not required. If you want to put a phone number in, again, that's not required either. We'll go ahead and put something in there. An extension if you need it. You can also put an email address in here. I won't put that at this point. And the default product is appraisal. And there will be nothing in the cashier identifier. Is that not a function of the appraiser's office? One thing you can note here is you can put sign-on options for a user. You can limit them to work only from a certain date. For example, you can pull up a calendar, you can set a beginning date and an ending date, and you can also set them a time so that maybe someone can only sign into Orion from 8 o'clock in the morning until 5 o'clock in the afternoon. You can also disable account. If you lose an employee or uh, you have some kind of security problem, you can simply disable this account. It defaults to use Orion authentication. I would suggest you not change that unless your DP department says so. And then you're going to sign this person a password. Different counties have different criteria for their passwords. Some are pretty free. Some of them have some specific criteria. This particular county has requires one capital letter, one number, and one symbol such as an at sign or a um, dollar sign or a number sign. So we're going to just put in something like capital S A M and we'll put at one two three four. Verify that again, capital S A M at one two three four. The next thing is very important. If you'll click the require password change on next login, then this individual can set their own password. Do a save. And you see that Sam shows up here. Let's go back and click on Sam again and go up here in the upper right hand corner and hit user roles. As you can see he has no roles assigned at this point so even though he has a sign on he has no access. Again go to the plus sign in the corner and if you look over here in the right hand column you can see what you can assign security for. If Sam's the appraiser you're probably going to give him global roles which means you're going to select all and give him everything. However let's say Sam in this case is a data entry clerk and we all want to give them access to the data entry and maybe appeals appraiser update and as a staff appraiser. This is your choice. You'll have to make those decisions within your own office. Click Save. You see the three things that he's assigned to and continue. Save again. And now Sam Jones is set up as a user of Orion exit out. The next time Sam Jones tries to sign in as a user, he will ask for a prompt for a new password. He'll sign his own password and he's ready to go.